Welcome back, DLG fam. I have something that most of you have been waiting for. And I had a comment on one of my previous videos that they wanted to know where, what was happening. What am I talking about? The Backbone 1 iPhone 13 Pro Max adapter. Yes, sir. Finally got it. I haven't even opened it, guys. I ordered this thing back on October 25th and I didn't get it till about December what, 11th, somewhere around there. But point being is that I got it a month, almost a month and a half later. I did reach out to Backbone and ask, hey, what's going on? Funny thing is, these people are in Costa Mesa. I'm in Los Angeles. There's only about a 40 mile difference. And uh, yeah, I could have probably just drove over there and picked up a adapter, but it made no sense, right? Because according to them, they didn't have any. But let's, um, let's open this up. Let's see what is the deal here. If you guys remember my past video where I put the Kishi against the backbone with the new iPhone 13 Pro Max, that'll be linked on the top corner and you guys can check that video out. But let's take this uh, thing. Really? Honestly, look at the size of this. Really backbone? Really? A month and a half for this. If I had a 3D printer, I could have printed it out myself. But there shouldn't be a need for me to print something out. But uh, anyway, people were saying that there's a workaround on the Backbone One, and you just take this these uh, these rubber grips that are in here where your phone rests. The camera bump that the Backbone One was originally made with is made for the iPhone 11 and I believe it is also made for the iPhone 12. But because the camera bump on the iPhone 13 is much more bigger, it's not gonna fit. So let's uh, let's open this little thing up. Let's see what is uh, the deal here. And I just wanna let you guys know about this. I did contact Backbone One like I previously said, and they said, oh, because of uh, you know the current situation, we're all in in the United States, there's a back order on everything, and uh, there's a back order on this rubber piece. Um, I think I'm gonna buzz for a 3D printer next time. Uh, I could have printed this out and avoided waiting a month and a half. But let's uh, let's go to the unboxing, the placement of the product. We already unboxed it. Let's go install this on the Backbone One adapter. All right guys, so here's the adapter. As you can see here, it's actually made out of rubber. You know, I'm not sure how a 3D printer works or how solid the material is on a 3D printer, but this is where the iPhone 13 Pro Max is gonna sit. And this is the, this edge right here doesn't seem, uh, ugh. I'm not too sure how safe I'm gonna feel with a phone that expensive sitting in there, but Okay, so what you do here is you just sit it down right here as so. So it's actually going to grip, I'll show you guys right here. It's gonna grip the back side of it right there. You push it in and voila, that's it right there. It just sits in place. And now we could put in the iPhone 13 Pro Max. All right guys, so here's my iPhone 13 Pro Max. So the way it works is you put it in to this slot over here first, make sure it's connected, stretch it out. And then, voila. And it sits nice and snug for the camera bump right there. You see where the camera bump is at? That's what the problem was with the original rubber adapter where, don't mind the dust on the darn phone, these things collect dust like crazy. But that camera bump now sits properly. So you can see, now let's see over here. Let's uh, turn it up, don't take your screenshots. Yeah, come on. There we go, look at that guys. All right, so, oh, okay. Well, you gotta, you gotta literally pull it pretty hard in order for it to uh, come out. But as you guys can see, sits there nice and snug. All right, so there you go, guys. Look at that. So that's how it works. All right, guys, so I showed you guys how the adapter works, how you plug it in, you just go in there, snap it on, and it sits there properly. There it is. Look at that. I know I showed you guys already, but I just wanted to give you guys a glance. Okay, so sturdiness, it's there. Kind of like with the Kishi, you know how I really 
yanked on it. Now it's actually sturdy. I'm really liking the way that this adapter is working. I just don't like the delay that they made me wait for so long for this rubber piece. Many months later. I know a lot of people have found hacks of how to get it to work, but you know what? I'd rather make it look legit, make it look nice, than have a bunch of uh, Velcro tape sitting in there because I am not sticking Velcro tape on a $1,400 phone. No siree. I'm already all panicky because I'm afraid that it might come out, but hey guys, look, it's dirty. If you guys did order one, let me know how long did it take. Are you still waiting for yours? Do you think it was well worth the wait? At this point, I'm thinking the wait was kind of worth it if it would have been maybe three weeks, not five weeks or six weeks. But I understand, you know, we're going through a whole uh, situation right now. But let me know down in the comments below if you did pick up an iPhone 13, iPhone 13 Pro Max adapter from Backbone, how long did it take for you guys to receive it? Uh, it's kind of worth the wait. If you do have a 3D printer though, you don't have to wait. They give you the specs on how to print it and it's, well, technically it's not free because you have to use your, I don't know how those, uh, like I said before, I don't know how the 3D printers work. So you gotta use your own resources to create the part. But you know what? Okay, so now it actually works. I might give Backbone another chance. I'm not too sure. And uh, the joysticks, eh, so-so. So you might be asking, how much was this? Free, like I said before, you only pay five bucks for shipping. But if you do like the content I'm providing on waiting for uh, weeks at a time for products to arrive, don't forget to hit that like button, turn that red button gray, join the DOG fam for these lunatic timeframes for waiting for stuff because in today's world, we literally have to wait for everything. But till next time guys, I'm Tech, peace out. Bro, like, you hear that guys?